Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry set up to address the issue of police brutality has been suspended over the freezing of the bank accounts of one of the youth representatives by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Sarah reporters had reported that the CBN had obtained a court order to freeze the bank accounts of Bolatito Rachel Odwala alongside 19 others over their role during the air hashtag answers protest. Meanwhile, Odwala, who is also on the Lagos panel as a youth representative, withdrew from the panel sitting today in protest of the move by the CBN. Her action forced the panel to adjourn sitting for a week. Chairperson of the panel, Justice Doris Okuwobi, retired, announced that the panel will reconvene on the 14th of November after major consultation with stakeholders. You see that these people, they think they are very, very wise. You think you, they think they are very, very wise. And that is why you see that uh, the people didn't want to leave the streets because they knew quite all right that the government has been unfaithful. The government has not been truthful to all of these things. They will tell you, go back, oh, we are doing things, we are doing that. You know, I don't know if a lot of you can remember. The same way they came 20, 2015, oh, going to clean up, oh, going to clean up. Oh, everybody was like, oh, you can, can you imagine? Oh, good luck, uh, Jonathan. Couldn't do anything. It, it came from that region. Everybody was happy. This man was going there every now and then. The vice president, every now and then. Even to the extent they gave him a, a chief fancy title. Because everybody, they were really happy that, yes, they were going to start something. Up to today, they are, they are in their second regime now. They have not done anything. A lot of things like that that they've promised the people. Nothing has been done. And even, that one is even too far. I'm just trying to digress. You know, when you have been beaten over the time, when you have been disappointed over the time, you don't take such people or such organization or governments, you don't take them serious because the integrity they talk about, they lack it. Let's take, for example, this uh, answers of a thing. For those who are coming uh, to be doing church, 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 saying that, uh, oh, uh, uh, they, they cost the, this whole thing. What are you talking about? And, and I, don't, I don't even like hearing such statements that because of the protest, that was how the hoodlum came and hijacked it. Hijack what? If, really, if the government is really up to its responsibility, those people wouldn't have hijacked it. And if really they were sincere, they wouldn't have stopped this protest because they stop it by force. All of this, uh, uh, whatever, they are, the trees they are trying to bring in that uh, the protesters cause it. No, and they need quite rather. They, even the most peaceful protest ground, that was where they went. They took a uh, uh, soldier or they deployed soldiers to that place. Those who have been saying all manner of things on social media. There are people should go and sit down. This and that. Then if you want to die, let them continue to kill people now. You think you can't kill everybody. That's it. You can't take everybody's life. If you think so, then you not know that. You not see the other side of the people because people have been keeping quiet. The government and the politicians, they are cheating the masses massively. They are cheating us. They are depriving us of a, a lot of things. I, I was listening to one of these, uh, one of these youth on TV, on Channel TV. And the, the lady was saying, we have not even started asking for good governance. We are just only asking that let us breathe. You don't want us to breathe. How many times have they uh, disbanded SARS? How many times? And those who are saying, even the government has come as that, that they have met the five demands. Which demand? How? I don't know. People that can lie that they didn't send soldiers to the protest ground. So what do you expect of them? This is the fourth time they are disbanding SARS. So the first time, the question you need to ask yourself, when they disbanded the SARS from the first, in the first uh, instance, that, uh, uh, that year, they, they made a lot of promises that they were going to do this, they were going to do that. Second time, third time, they disbanded and nothing came out of those things. So what are we talking about? Was there any form of reform the first time the SARS was disbanded? Since that time, was there any form of reform? Were they have they been taking care of or the welfare or looking into the welfare of the police? Nothing. It's the same story as, as usual. Even this one, and you are telling people that uh, yes, you don't uh, uh, you, you have the interest of the people at heart. Do you even know how it took the government, the president, to come and speak? Somebody who's, who is always preaching integrity and, and patriotism. Do you know how it took him? Even when he came, he didn't even he didn't even communicate with the people as if he cares. He didn't communicate. And at the end of the day, you said you are looking for a way to make things better. You are uh, seeking for their demand. And I think that was and that was the reason why they were looking for they were looking for leader. Ah, some people say, Oh, how can you be organizing such a thing? You don't have a leader, you must sit on the round table. You see the reason why they said everybody is a leader. 
Because this is the exact thing they want to be doing. If the government is sincere, why are you freezing the account? Onto what? Any little thing they want to topple the government, what are you doing they want to topple? If they want to topple government, is that to topple government? Yes, they can topple government because if they present your inadequacy and incompetency to you because you feel that you are not doing the right thing, that's why they are afraid. The next thing is for them to go and re say they want to regulate their social media. And people have been saying, we have a lot of laws, enough laws for you to be able to uh, if you want to regulate that that we all uh, that are in place that we regulate uh, social media so you don't even need to create another thing saying that uh, you want to regulate uh, regulate law so what are we talking about this is the kind of this is the wickedness they want to portray that was why they were looking for leader so that they will, before you know it they will tell you that uh, oh uh, they have arrested uh, one person they have done this exactly they did to showore exactly they did to, to him and we begin to see some people now coming out you know uh, faz has been vocal in this whole thing, he has been vocal, but nobody has declared anybody leader. But before we knew it, they knew quite all right that this guy is, you know, is coming out. Because we, we are not seeing that most of the celebrities are not even talking. But he's the one who is, who is still talking, who is still encouraging people. Now somebody just came from nowhere and said, oh, uh, fraud, uh, fast defrauded him uh, with his manager and all of that. What are we talking about? Those are the things they are going to be bringing so that they want to discredit somebody. They want to discredit. You can imagine. You are freezing somebody who is even a part of the panel. You are freezing that can onto what? What did they do? But when it comes to people, the same, the same hoodlums. We have, well, of course, we have hoodlums in Nigeria. But we are, when you talk about the sophisticated hoodlums, they are in government uh, uh, parastata. They are the ones stealing billions. Tell you what, stealing money. And they will come hoodlums will hijack. Hoodlums will hijack. The ones you guys that have hijacked the, the, the system in the first place. You have put yourself in, in, in all these BB uh, positions and you don't even make good laws. Bills, you can't pass bills that will benefit ordinary person on the street and you are happy because you want to sit down in the car and be moving on the street and people will not be waving hands at, waving hands at you. Those are the things they want. So that people will not be able to ask questions. Well, there are many, there, there are many ways to kill a rat without shedding his blood. Since they don't want... Uh, they don't want people to come on, 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 on to come and protest, but they you can't they can't they can't succeed when it comes to that. There are other means that people will see come out and say no to all of these things because they feel that uh, they've already they've succeeded. And somebody was saying that even all of these things that happened, the majority of the politicians they didn't even care, they didn't even bother. But don't worry, a time will come, they will they will be bothered. All of those things that they are relying on, thinking that it's going to save them, all of those things will start to fail them. Well, good move. These people in government are very insensitive. We have Mr. Satan at the helm of affairs of Nigeria. God wiped off all these evil leaders that have nothing for the masses of this great nation. Well, look at the beautiful nonsense. Freezing accounts. Unto what? Silly and playlessness. Hashtag end corrupt uh, judges. Hashtag end uh, next protest coming soon. Protest next for hashtag end corrupt judges. We are going back to the streets before the 14th November. This time, no going back. The youth should remain resolute and un undaunted. The era of naivety, mediocrity, imbecility, and myopia must come to an end in the leadership of Nigeria. Freezing their account for what? Bunch of no do goods. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan must go. Now our eyes don't happen. Africa is bleeding. Now would they do or save? My advice is the youth is to go to court and seek for stoppage of the account freezing by CBN. But withdrawing from the panel, we worsen your issue. Which washing of your issue? If, even in the first, all those uh, kangaroo panel they are setting. Are they not the ones that, uh, that uh, the, the, oh, the masses are accusing? And they are the ones that are setting up the panel. Second base, Jerry. So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.